AI only signals and stopping points. Please note we are in the scenario editor, not the world editor. The AI only signal and stopping points are best used in the scenario editor to solve scenario problems. Even with the best signaling um, arrangement from a root creator uh, possible with no mistakes or anything, there can still be difficulties in creating scenarios. And here is a good example of one. We have a train here, a few signals and another train, and we have this platform and I want to route both trains into that platform. That should be stra fairly straightforward. Um, if it was a free roam scenario, um, it, uh, we could just drive them in one by one. But any if you, instructions, um, let's see if we can add those in. Note we're using a calling on signal, so if the platform is occupied, then the calling on indicator can clear to let us in. So, let's tell service 1 to go to 21A, which it's already doing successfully. Then we have service 2, the second service, sorry wrong, uh, wrong option there, let's give it a destination of the same marker. As you can see, the scenario now fails. The problem is that drivers 2 has failed and it's because train number one, service number one, is already in that platform and therefore as far as the dispatcher is concerned that platform's occupied, that signal block is occupied and so it cannot route a train in there. It doesn't know that the signal that protects that platform has the ability to work permissively, has a calling on indicator. All it knows is that there's a train in, the pl in that signal section so it's occupied so it will not let you route another train in there. So let's leave that set up there and now let's use our AI only signal and our stopping point to alleviate the problem. So I say remember we are in the scenario editor. Let's add our AI only signal. We're going to split the platform into two. So just click on the platform and click with the arrow pointing in the normal direction of travel. So forwards entering the platform. Now that signal does absolutely nothing. It is invisible when you're actually driving, but what it does in terms of the dispatcher is mean that we've got two signal blocks. We've got a signal block here and a signal block here. The second thing we need to do is add in a stopping point. Now we could, if there wasn't a marker already here, we could add in two platform markers, one here and then a separate one here. Then the issue instructions for the first train to go to this marker and the second train to go to the second marker. Unfortunately, the marker is already there, and because that was placed in the world editor rather than scenario editor, I cannot change it. It can't be edited. However, we can add a stopping point. The front of the train will stop at this marker. So let's position it here. Just click. Again, this is an editor only asset, it will not show up when you're playing. So now what we've done is we've made two um, stopping points effectively. The first train always drives to the end of the marker, that's the default in the game, and we've made this new stopping point here. We can rename this stopping point, I believe, by double clicking it. There we go. That's just called stopping point at the moment. So let's go into our scenario and edit the second train to go to our stopping point. Okay, so now you can see that the scenario thinks it's going to work. Service 1 is working, there's no errors and so is service 2. Now sometimes because we've just added these signals and the stopping point in, we've only just added them in, the um, scenario will still tell you it's broken. All you need to do is save it, exit the scenario, and press uh, play again. And at that point, the signals will re-evaluate everything, and the scenario should come up as working. So let's give this a go. We're going to give do two tests. One where we let the AI drive the train, so we just watch them. And two, the, the second a test, rather, I will drive the second train. Save the scenario, and let's have a look. So here we go, as you can see, the trains are moving. 
So the dispatch is happy that it can get both trains into this platform. So you've got a route indication there. It's giving a green into a bay because I haven't added in the platform end of track marker or the buffer end of track marker. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's only a, only a demo. There we go, so the first train's in. Now, as far as the signals are concerned, that signal box is occupied, but we have a permissive light, so we should be able to signal a second train in there. Now, this is why I want you to show you one where the train was controlled by the computer and one where I'm going to drive the train. Because as you will see, the dispatcher will let this train into the platform, but unfortunately, because it's an AI train rather than a human train, there's nothing to request permission to pass this signal at danger. That's what needs to be done. The player or the AI has to request permission to pass this signal at danger. Now, an AI driver won't request permission, so it will just drive past that signal because the dispatcher knows it can do. So that's a downside, unfortunately. You will, there's a possibility that you could see an AI train passing a signal at red when obviously that shouldn't happen. It's a minor issue, um, at least we can actually create a scenario where we've got two trains coming to a platform. If you were to drive past that um, dummy signal, that AI only signal, you wouldn't get a SPAD or anything like that. It's uh, invisible to the player. The only place where it does show up is in the F4 HUD, which I'll show you in a second. So here we go again. The same scenario, but now I'm going to drive the second train. Let's get in and draw forward. We got our green. Another green, then our single yellow. And then we're on to our signal that will remain at red. So let's bring our speed down so we can stop at the red. Remember our signal's got a calling on indicator so we can work what's called permissively um, into the platform. We can enter even though it's occupied, that's what permissive working is. Here we are. Nice to stop just before the signal, fortunately. So, normally in the real world, the signaler would clear that position light for you. You wouldn't have to request permission. But in the game, unfortunately, limitations of the game, we have to request permission. So we press tab on the keyboard. And when we do, we've been given approval. So our position light clears. And we've got a route indication into the platform as well. So, as you can see, with the player trains, we can simulate very realistic behaviour into and out of occupied platforms. And we are able to get the um, scenario to be valid because of the AI signal asset and the stopping marker. You can see here that the signal does exist in the F4 HUD. This is the our special signal. Uh, it doesn't exist in the 9 view or anywhere else. That's the only location where it exists.